Hey, good morning. It's Susan. Rob and I are totally back from our cruise now, and I still haven't completely gone grocery shopping yet. So I were eating just stuff out of the fridge. And last night we had salad from Panera Bread, which was amazing. Anyway, I wanted to tell you what we're having for breakfast today. This is one of our favorite breakfasts. It is cheesy eggs. And that's all you have is just eggs cooked in butter with one little bit of cheese. Check out my cat back here. She's so bad. Anyway, the thing that is important about eggs is that if you can buy grass-fed eggs because and beef, um, they actually have different kinds of acids and proteins in them versus beef and chicken and any kind of animal that's been fed like grains. And the reason is, is that when animals eat grasses, they're getting um, nutrients that come from the leaves of plants, right? And that makes them have more omega-3s in their bodies and eggs and stuff like that versus animals that are fed just like they're kept indoors, they're eating grass, uh, no, they're eating grains only, and they're not getting the leaves of um, plants in their bodies. And so you want to eat anything that's grass-fed versus just traditionally um, like feedlot-type animals. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm looking at the cat back here. Um, because you want to get more omega-3s in your body. So animals that are grain-fed have more omega-6s in them, which is the bad fat. And animals that are grass-fed or like free-range or whatever, where they can get a hold of plants to eat, they have more omega-3 fatty acids in their bodies. So omega-3s are what cause you to have like good heart health and stuff like that. Omega-6s are what cause inflammation in your body. So just making that switch, like go ahead and eat a hamburger, right? But go to a restaurant that has grass-fed beef instead of um, grain-fed beef. And they will tell you if it's grass-fed because it's more expensive. When you go to the store and you're looking for things that it's not cage-free eggs, it's grass-fed eggs. That's the difference, right? And the beef and the chicken and stuff usually will have a green label on it to show that um, the animal was actually raised on grass versus um, grains put on a feedlot. And the longer an animal's on a feedlot and they're eating those grains to get fattened up, their amount of omega-3s in their body actually goes down. So omega-3s are really, really important. And unless you're eating like a ton of fish, which live on algae and plant type things, right, then um, you probably don't have enough omega-3s in your body. Same thing with fish. If you're eating farm-raised fish, um, then they're probably being fed a bunch of grains and they're not full of omega-3s. So get more omega-3s in your life. Take a fish oil supplement if your doctor says you can and it's not like contraindicated with anything else you have going on. But just switch your sources of all your meats, all your animal products to grain or to grass fed and it will help you get healthier. All right, there you go. That's what we're having and I'm going to go finish my cheesy eggs.